Sometimes treatment for a cardiac arrest may be delayed, either because of barriers to accessing the victim or because the arrest was not witnessed. Regardless, CPR is still critical. The earlier a victim of cardiac arrest receives CPR and shock delivery, the greater the chance of survival and recovery. And early CPR has been shown to double or even triple survival from witnessed sudden cardiac arrest. For many healthcare providers and other rescuers, the two-person or team rescue is a more common occurrence. So let's first look at the roles for two-person rescues. The first rescuer should begin CPR with chest compressions while counting out loud and delivering breaths. Basically, they're handling the situation at first as a one rescuer scenario. The second rescuer is responsible for powering up the AED and attaching the pads, as well as providing ventilation when a device becomes available. It's important to remember that the rescuer performing compressions should switch roles about every two minutes to avoid fatigue and ensure that compressions remain effective. The compressor should pause when ventilations are being given until an advanced airway is secured. The compressor may also need to briefly pause when the advanced airway is inserted. And if you're performing CPR without an AED, you should switch roles when fatigued or after every five cycles. That's about every two minutes. When an AED is present, switch roles every time the AED tells you to reanalyze or sooner if the compressor is fatigued. This switch should take less than five seconds to minimize interruptions in chest compressions. We'll learn more about how to effectively switch roles in the team dynamics section. In two rescuer CPR, each rescuer has a specific role. Let's review these roles while watching them play out. Rescuer number one should be positioned at the person's side ready to perform chest compressions and count them out loud. And rescuer number two should be positioned at the person's head. It's rescuer two's role to maintain an open airway and give breaths with a bag mask device while watching for the chest to rise and avoiding excessive ventilation. Rescuer two should also encourage rescuer one to perform chest compressions that are fast and deep enough and allow complete chest recoil between compressions. Now let's practice two rescuer BLS. Follow the video as you practice. We'll work on the full sequence from the point of finding the victim until advanced medical help arrives. We'll pause here for you to get into position for the two rescuer practice. Again, in three, Two, one. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay? Activate the emergency response and get an AED. There's no breathing, no pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Covered adult BLS. Let's discuss BLS for children. It may be difficult to imagine a child being a victim of cardiac arrest, but it certainly happens. Pediatric cardiac arrest isn't as common as adult cardiac arrest. In adults, the cause of cardiac arrest is often cardiac related, but in children and infants, cardiac arrest is often due to respiratory problems, such as airway obstruction, drowning, opioid overdose, or seizures. There are some differences in BLS for children, including the chains of survival. Like the adult chains of survival, the pediatric chains have six links. Both pediatric chains include prevention of cardiac arrest, activation of the emergency response system, high quality CPR, advanced resuscitation, post-cardiac arrest care, 
and recovery. In a hospital setting, the difference is the first link. It focuses on early recognition and prevention of cardiac arrest, which emphasizes patient monitoring and assessment. Before we get to the practice, let's talk about a few important differences between BLS for children and BLS for adults. First, under the AHA BLS guidelines, anyone from age one year old to puberty is considered a child. Under these guidelines, puberty is defined as chest or underarm hair on boys and any breast development on girls. When you're performing compressions on a child, it's fine to use one or two hands, whichever works for you and allows you to provide deep, effective compressions. To be effective, your compressions must go to a depth of at least one third the depth of the child's chest. That's approximately two inches or five centimeters. And the chest must recoil completely between compressions. Also, whether the victim is a child or an adult, a single rescuer always uses a compression to ventilation ratio of 30 compressions to two breaths. However, if you're a two rescuer team and the victim is a child, the ratio changes and should be 15 compressions to two breaths. It's important to note that giving breaths to children requires less volume and force than giving breaths to adults. Breaths that are too large or forceful have greater potential to cause lung trauma in children than in adults. However, you still need to provide enough air to see the chest rise. Another difference is when to activate the emergency response system. If you do not witness the arrest and you're alone, you should perform five cycles of CPR to deliver oxygenated blood to the victim's brain before you activate the emergency response system. If the child has an adequate pulse but is not breathing normally, it may be due to a respiratory problem, so you must provide rescue breaths. Deliver one breath every two to three seconds or 20 to 30 breaths per minute. If you are alone and witness a sudden arrest, leave the child so that you can activate the emergency response system and get the AED. Then return to the child to perform CPR and use the AED. Now, let's combine the BLS skills that you've learned for adults with the differences we just reviewed to practice BLS for children. For this session, we'll practice two rescuer child CPR by using a 15 to two compression to ventilation ratio. One person will provide compressions while the other delivers breaths with a bag mask device. We'll pause here while everyone gets into position. Let's count down to compressions and get started with two rescuer CPR for children, starting with scene assessment. To stay together, follow the prompts on the screen. Let's go in three, two, one. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay? Activate the emergency response and get an AED. There's no breathing, no pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. Now it's time to practice two rescuer infant CPR. But before we begin, let's note a couple of differences between one rescuer and two rescuer infant CPR. One difference is the hand and finger placement for giving compressions. In two rescuer CPR, the person doing compressions should always use the two thumb encircling hands technique. The other key difference between one rescuer and two rescuer infant CPR is the compression to ventilation ratio. As mentioned before, Instead of a 30 to 2 ratio in a one rescuer situation, two rescuers should use the ratio of 15 compressions to two breaths. So let's practice compressions for two rescuer CPR. As a reminder, make sure your rate is between 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Use the 15 to 2 compression to ventilation ratio because you have two rescuers. 
Make the compressions approximately one and a half inches or four centimeters deep. Allow the chest to fully recoil after each compression and count out loud for your partner. Time to practice two rescuer infant CPR, starting with scene assessment. We will pause here while you get into position with the mannequins. Here we go in three, two, one. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay? Activate the emergency response and get an AED. There is no breathing and no pulse. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 